This is gonna be an intro level video on rarities. It is me, Joku DMD, and I am here today with a different kind of video. Uh, shout out to my buddy Barry Allen. Yo, Barry, if you're watching this, thank you for the excellent idea. I thought Barry is genius on rarities. This is going to be an intro level video. I'm going to keep it short and keep it simple. Uh, I will do another video that goes in depth more into each rarity and each set and talk about all the complexities and everything in it. But for a base level intro information on rarity, this is the video to check out. And if you are interested in the content on this channel and you like what you see, please take the time to hit that subscription button. It really helps me out. And if you would hit that little ding dong bell, it doesn't hurt either. Uh, if you're a returning member of the Joe Crew, thank you for your continued support. And let's talk about these rarities. So set three, I'm just going to jump right into cross world set three was the first set to introduce parallel foils and it was the second set to have a secret rare so every set has commons and uncommons and you can see what kind of rarity it is if you look in the bottom right corner of the card it'll say c for common or uc for uncommon now there are different level rarities of these cards though they are common and uncommon there are parallel foils which look like this where you can see the card is printed on foil and it is the exact same card, it's just shiny, or as we like to say, blinged out. Now we also have parallel foils are of uncommons and you can see the difference here of a parallel foil uncommon and a regular non-foil common. So those are your commons and uncommons. The next rarity above that is rare and every pack guaranteed at least one rare in this set. Uh, rares now come in non-foil, but that didn't happen until set 10. So we see we have uh, foil rares here. All the rares are foil up till set nine and every pack guarantees at least a rare. Now, if you are lucky enough to pull the rarity above a rare, you can pull a super rare, which you can see here, it says SR for super rare. Now, super rares are the next level of rarity. This is uh, this is usually like, you know, close to the ultimate card. These are usually finisher cards. These are your big heavy hitters in the deck. Now there is another rarity of super rare called special rare. Special rare says SPR in the corner and you can see this is actually the same name card. It just has different art and the card, do card does the exact same thing. It just has different art and these SPRs are special rares. They are more rare than the SRs. And you can see they usually have a more complex foiling pattern on the card. You can see that foiling pattern is uh, you know, more advanced than this basic wave foil with a gold stamp on it. Now, SRs are usually the same kind of foil as the rares in the set. Then with a gold stamp, the SPRs have a more uh, geometric kind of folding pattern. And then the highest level rarity in every set is the SCR or the secret rare. There was one per case or one for every 12 boxes in set three. Uh, other sets have two or three. Some sets have two, and depending on how many rare or how many secret rares are in the set, that will determine how many secret rares come per case. But I will talk about that in the next video. So this is the secret rare from set three. It is the most complex foiling pattern with the most gold foiling on it. You can see down there it says SCR, and this is the most rare card in this set. So those are your six different levels of rarity that come in every set, uh, every block set. And then some block sets have different kind of rarities, but I will get into that in another video. I wanna thank you guys for coming by. If you enjoyed this video and found this information helpful, please take the time to hit that subscription button down there. It really helps me out. And if you're a returning member of the Joe Crew, as always, thank you and I'll see you. Oh, and I can't end the video without doing a dental tooth tip. I am a dentist and uh, my dental tooth tip of the day would be don't chew on things that are harder than your teeth. Every object exerts an equal and opposite force that is exerted on it. And if you choose something harder than your tooth, you could very well break your tooth. So don't chew on things harder than your teeth. That's been the dental tooth tip for today. And I will see you guys next time.